I'm Michelle Forbes. I've written Ghost Moth, my debut novel. And um, really, when my father was a young fireman in his 20s uh, in Belfast, he rescued um, a small child. She was a little girl of about three years old uh, from a house fire in Willowfield Street in East Belfast. And he found her under the, the sink, hiding under a little curtain um, in the tiny kitchen in the, in, the, in the back of the house. And he carried her um, so carefully, carried her so as not to bump her head or her arms or legs against the furniture and the, and the walls of the house, um, even though it was pitch black and even though it was dense with smoke and even though that he knew she was already dead. Um, now, my dad's 89 now, and um, it seems that as time goes on and um, the older he gets, the more he thinks and the more he talks about her. And it seems to me that her absence has become a huge presence in his life. And um, in a way, so it is with Catherine and George Bedford, the main characters of Ghost Moth, an ordinary couple who struggle throughout their married lives to come to terms with an event which, which haunts their, their, their marriage. And um, it's um, that they're ordinary people. They, they're, they're good people who have made bad choices, perhaps. Um, but um, they, they can't talk about what is uh, troubling them and, and, and the event, the tragic event that has happened, in which both, uh, both of them have played a part. Um, it's when Catherine has a near drowning experience in the sea that all these suppressed emotions um, and memories rise to the surface. Um, so they have, to, they have to face it. And I think we all miss someone. We all know what it feels like to miss someone. We all know what it feels like to have their absence as an achingly huge presence in our lives. And um, I wanted to ask the question that our preoccupation with the past, is it a damaging thing or is it a useful thing? And how does it help us grow or how does it stultify us? So that really is what Ghost Moth is about. 